Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to Legion Talk, episode number 72. Now, what we're going to be taking a look at is something that is absolutely vile and abhorrent. It's just disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. I disavow this on any level. This is, this is not acceptable. This is not what this country is about. And I'm quite frankly, I'm tired of seeing it. You know, as if it's okay. I tried to search this. The mainstream media has not even done an article. Of course they didn't. Why would they do an article? If the roles were reversed, it would be national news. But it's not. From Tim Cast, Tim Pool and I agree on some things. We don't. We disagree on other things. But uh, hey, at least you know what his team's covering it. You know. Um, Published September 24th, uh, 2021. That's today still. It's five in the morning, dudes. Five in the morning. By Cassandra Fairbanks. Arizona Arizona State University student harassed for studying well white in a multicultural space. Well, the legitimacy of the multicultural space is in question, and I'm going to show you why uh, due to... Uh, an Instagram post. So, um, obviously you can see white kid, um, looks, looks like a young, you know, a solid young man, uh, looks, you know, doesn't look like he's bothering anybody. Looks kind of shocked and blown away. He does have what says police lives matter. There's a Chick-fil-A cup. I've seen people point this out. Police lives matter. Chick-fil-A. He was just looking for a problem. Um, well, when I show you the video that, um, the individual's recording, yeah, it's not really going to be, it's really going to be hard to call it a multicultural space because as far as I know, it wasn't labeled as one yet. They had petitioned for it, but it had not been labeled as one yet. But I digress. An Arizona State University student was aggressively confronted and filmed for studying well white and having a pro-police sticker on his laptop in a multicultural space yet to be seen at one point in the now viral video, of course it is, the student is accused of violence over a sticker. Hmm. You know, I got to be honest. The last time I um, read the definition of violence, um, it didn't have anything to do with a sticker. Nope. This is our space. One of the women filming the young man demands, you're making this space uncomfortable. Okay, you're the only one confronting people, but cool, whatever. You're white. Do you understand what a multicultural space is? In the video that you recently posted on your Instagram, uh, which uh, seems to be somewhat of a kind of community kind of thing for the campus. Not not super popular, but uh, had not been converted to a multicultural space yet. It was not labeled that yet. And quite frankly, a multicultural space is racist. It's segregationist. And is, isn't that like, are we going, that, isn't that going backwards, going backwards? We, we should be going forward. Everybody's included, but we're going backwards. The woman continued berating the soft-spoken student. Yeah, he didn't really raise his voice once until uh, they really got going. After implying that the white people, that white people are not allowed in the multicultural center, that's stupid. Another student asked, white's not a culture. Uh, another student asked, white's not a culture? prompting the woman to become even more agitated and demand that it is not. The woman uh, filmed, filming also accused the student of being racist over the sticker. He politely explained that he was not trying to offend anyone. He was just trying to study, which you can see clearly in the video. They, they, um, we'll skip to the bottom because we are going to watch the video. I want you guys to see the video. After yelling at and berating the young man for several minutes, they complained that the, the, he had the audacity to cuss at them even though they had been cussing at him first and being highly aggressive, you'll see, which apparently is not allowed. You start it, dude. I'm kind of the uh, the proponent that if you take a swing at me or you take a pot shot at me first and I blast you from the other side of the room, you got what you earned. If I make a comment and then all of a sudden somebody's like going, ah, F you, and it's like going, oh, wow, okay. Uh, and then anything I give you back after that is your fault because you had the audacity to engage with me. I didn't engage with you. You engaged with me. 
because of the color of their skin. Cussing out black people, you were just proved yourself, one of the women declares. Eventually, the bullies got their way, and the white male student the uh, left. Yeah. This dude is like, I just, he's like, I don't know what's going on. Okay. Before, you know what, before we watch the video, hey. there we go. What's good, y'all? This is the... This is the uh, proposed, uh, you know, cultural center that's only for cultural students and not for apparently white students. I don't know, but it is not labeled that because, however, on their Instagram, um, this post is like right before the incident. It's like right before the incident. And they're complaining awesome. about it. We're here uh, with the Multicultural Solidarity Coalition and uh, for over a year. I want to say this first and foremost. Do not contact these people. But do not go out of your way to, to, to say horrendous things to them. Do not bully them. It does not prove the point. Um, when in the media, when it's the other way around, um, the people on the other side of it, the, the white people or whatever, they get bullied, they get, they get death threats. Do not do that. Do not do that. That is not how we do in the United States. We let we let justice take its course. And I'm going to show you that I have contacted the school to make sure justice is done. And in, in a fair and equal level that is not putting these girls on blast. They're young girls. They're stupid because I was stupid at that age. Most of us were. Do not send them horrendous messages. Do not. They had us in these meetings over and over and over again. Um, and all the, out of the meeting, they took our 25-page proposal. As you can see, it says Student Success Center, tutoring. It does not say anything about a multicultural center. It is, it is just for all students. They have been advocating for over a year for it to be a multicultural student um, uh, safe space, so to speak. Um, I still think that's dumb. They have the whole entire campus. When I was in college, I went to um, Mesa State. Uh, I went to Front Range Community College. I went to the University of Colorado Boulder. Very, very, very liberal school the university of colorado boulder we did not have these problems we did not have these kind of incidents everybody got along i mean you you had thirty five thousand students a semester thirty five thousand. that's a lot of us no problem no problem this is this is a bigger issue that we're dealing with over the last probably i don't know eight years 10 years it's it's obnoxious where we asked for a three-story building which the student pavilion will do okay but uh what they did in response to that is give us a single room this is the room that they gave us now you know as you can you'll see from the video that this, this is the yellow wall this is the tv that is on the yellow wall it is clearly seen uh while the size you know it, it's okay we'll take the whole floor but um you know um it's about care and intentionality. And what I don't know what intentionality is. That's not a word, but okay. Uh, maybe uh, your your school's failing you. I apologize for that. They should be teaching you better words. Intentionality. It's about intention. Intention. I'm what you see is they haven't even changed the plaque. They haven't changed the plaque. They haven't, the haven't plaque. even changed the plaque. There you go. So why were we in meetings? Yeah, University Academic Success Programs Office. So basically, this one over here says, you know, basically uh, Student Center. Um, this one says University Academic uh, Success Programs. And then it has an office for probably a tutorial administrator, um, which, which, of course, you know, students need tutors. There's nothing wrong with that. Heck, I've had tutors when I was in, you know, um, when I was younger and I've had tutors. Uh, I think I sat down with a tutor and when I was in college, um, I didn't I didn't get a chance to finish my degree. Uh, maybe one day I will. Uh, but <laughs> in the in the, the two places I'm going financially uh, or, you know, attempting to go financially, degrees not going to do anything <laughs> right now. So, they, I mean, maybe I could do it one day for a personal accomplishment. I don't know. Single week. And you can't change a plaque? 
It doesn't take that long. So don't tell me that you're still working on it. It's how much care and effort did you put into for students of color? Because it's the first week of campus. Okay, well, first of all, you're at the school, so they're investing in students of color, right? You enrolled there. You got accepted there. Your tuition is there. This girl is from out of state. I found her Twitter. She has locked it down. I am not going to show her Twitter. I do not condone anybody bullying this girl. Yes, it is this girl right here. Um, if, if you end up finding it on the internet, please do not go there and target her. First off, you can't see her tweets, but um, just, just don't. Just don't. Students of color are here, and they see there's nothing for them. There is something for you. you. You're there to get an education. That's what, what, that's what there, there is there for you. Students, teachers, um, tutors, books, learning, online programs. Uh, I mean, the, the, you know, even in standard classes, I took a genetics class where we were in, we were in ge uh, the genetics room for like, uh, like 90 minutes, 90 minutes. And then, of course, we had to do like uh, probably another like 60 minutes online for that same genetics class, you know, at uh, cuboulder.edu slash whatever your username is that that you don't need a space all for yourself. You need, need a student space that's quiet to study. This is this is ridiculous. So going back, um, we're going to actually gonna, we're going to finally watch the, the video here uh, scrolling down. Yes, I, I am not going to lie. This was my tweet three hours ago at ASU. Congratulations. I'm going to make a YouTube video every single day until these girls are suspended for blatant racism. I, I, I hold no regrets. Zero regrets. Now, I'm not saying they need to be expelled or they need to be kicked out of university, but then suspended for a week, standard week, you know, Monday through Friday of classes. Get, do all your work online um no problem no problem there needs to be an example because what they did was very wrong in this video and you're gonna you're gonna see that right police lives matter yeah there you go what did i do wrong you have a better you're, you're offensive <laughs> police lives matter this dude is confused beyond all belief he's like i what I literally showed you the building. Yellow wall, TV in the middle, glass area, you know, bright glass area. It says student. It says accessible for all students. It doesn't say multicultural center. Dude literally looks like, I don't know what's going on. He looks confused as hell. You have the same we're, sticker. We're just trying to do school. What? Yeah. You guys have the same sticker as the other. But this is our space. He just said, you guys have the sticker of the other, which is Black Lives Matter. Who's going to go out, who's going to go out of their way to and you shouldn't. You should not. Somebody has a Black Lives Matter bumper sticker, uh computer sticker, shirt on, leave them alone. Leave them alone. Unless they're actively engaging with you in a harassing setting, leave them alone. If they're walking down the street and you see they got a Black Lives Matter shirt, don't be like, eh. No, don't do that. That's their freedom. That's their right. This is the United States of America. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody's a free American to express themselves and however they want. And if it does not infringe on your rights to live as a free human being in this society, leave them alone on both sides. We've got a Police Lives Matter sticker and we're getting kicked out. Can't do school. Nobody's you, you, you just said we have to leave. No, I said you're making this space you uncomfortable. Me feel uncomfortable. But you're white. Do you understand what a multicultural space? It means you're not being centered. And white's not a culture? No. No, it's not a culture. It's white is not a culture. Say it again to the camera. You think whiteness is a culture? This is insane. So anyway, this is the violence that ASU does. Oh, uh, he has a did not vote for Biden shirt, which, yes, is going to be controversial on a student campus. Now, could they have come into this space to try to mess with them? It's definitely possible. It's definitely possible. I am not going to rule this out. This is going to be a longer video because there's a lot to unravel here. I am not going to rule that out. They could have went in there to mess with them, you know, didn't vote for Biden, Police Lives Matter, Chick-fil-A, which is very pro-Christianity, which they think hates LGBTQ plus people. 
that hasn't really been proven just because it's a Christian organization. Um, you know, do they, oh, I'm Christian myself. Do, but do, do I think that all, all LGBTQ people are going to go to hell? No, because that would be condemning, um, a good handful of people who I love and care about. You know what I think? I think that, um, that, uh, you know, religion and spirituality is flawed like everything else. And I think that God loves unevenly. I'm sorry. He, uh, God loves evenly. I said that backwards. God loves evenly. And it's, it's, it's about, you know, we're, we're all, we're all flawed human beings. Every single one of us. Nobody, nobody is, is perfect. If you say, if you think you're perfect and you think that you're in the right place to go to heaven, you're wrong because that's narcissistic and it's arrogant. Mm, narcissism is one of the seven deadly sins. Oh, oh no. Uh, so we, we all have work to do now. Could, could they have been instigating? Absolutely. Did I show you the video where it doesn't say it's a multicultural center proving the fact until I hear a statement from the school stating that it was a multicultural facility labeled as such and that, but it's not looking good, girls. Does, and this is the type of people that they protect, okay? This white man thinks he can take up our space, and this is why we need a multicultural space, because they think they can get away with this shit. Do you see how much space is in this place? They're, they're taking up our space? This white man is taking up our space. Chair, 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 chair. Like, that's a table. I'm going to sit here though. Uh, chair, chair, <laughs> like chair, chairs, time and you can uh, chairs, chairs. Come on now. This is crazy. Find somebody to that, yeah. That's cool. We, we're we're not well. kicking you out. We're asking you to leave yeah, if you have any consideration for people of color and our marginalized. So clearly don't. That I can go? Yeah, the whole rest of the oh, campus, the whole, the second floor. Y'all have the whole entire campus. Your students at AS, a, a, ASU, the whole entire campus. Arizona State University is for Arizona State University students. The first floor of uh, of all walks of life. The whole in whether you're 50 or you were in your early 20s when I went to school, you know, and I was kind of like the old man on campus because I was like, you know, you know, or you know, slight early to mid 20s ish, and uh, out of high school, it's it's for everybody. You, every single part of the campus centers you. This is the only space that you're not centered and you're still trying to center yourself, which is peak white cis male bullshit. <laughs> the, the buzzword, dudes, you got to let the buzzwords go. It, 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 you talk in a circle. It doesn't mean that is cis white male bullshit. Cis white male bullshit. It's like all, it's like a bunch of buzzwords wrapped up with bullshit. That's not an argument. <laughs> you're not you are racist. Your sticker is racist. Oh, uh, police lives matter is racist. Because police, that's a job. You can. Mm, police are, are a group of people who have been discriminated against based on their said chosen perfection. Is it racist? No. Is it discriminatory and, and targeted? Yes. Choose to be a police. I didn't. I don't choose to be black. At, absolutely. She didn't choose to be black. He didn't choose to be white. So why are you harassing a white student who had no choice? You don't have a choice to be black. He didn't have a choice to be white. Why are you harassing him? Why? Because he has this. There is a target on police officers over the last several years, and it's not racist it's not homophobic. It's not transphobic. It is discriminatory and it is targeted based on what they do. Whether it be black officers, Asian officers, white officers, Native American officers, Indian officers, uh, Pakistani officers. You're lumping a group of people together that is and labeling them all the same thing that is discrimination of the highest order if it were a a race of people say that the, if that said uh black lives matter and he's like ah, if black lives matter no black lives matter that would be racism of the highest standard right now i believe that i believe that black lives matter um, all black lives matter, 
but actual black lives matter like black human beings black americans um uh you know actual african uh you know individuals uh i believe all lives matter because we're all part of the the the, the one race one race the human race I know that's considered like a microaggression nowadays because Disney said so, which is psycho. But all lives are important because there is one race, the human race. We all share DNA. That DNA is slightly skewed. It's how we get our, our physical features. Her, him, him, the girls behind the screen. And guess what? We can all intermingle and we can still reproduce more human beings of different genetic makeup because there is one, one, one race, the human race. I can find a lovely black woman and I can marry her and have babies. I could find a lovely Asian woman, marry her and have babies. My friend is a black per as a black man, him and his girlfriend can come together and they can have lovely babies. Because we are all human beings. I can't go out and find a hippopotamus and have babies. We're not the same race. Does that make sense? I know, science and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, no, you can choose to be a cop. You can choose to kill people with a badge. Who's, who's killing people? Uh, 2019, the statistic was uh, nine unarmed black men were killed by the police. Nine unarmed. Nine unarmed. Nine unarmed in the whole entire United States. Nine unarmed. I think the statistic of all people killed by the police in 2019 was like somewhere in the neighborhood of like 1,100. In a country of 333.3 million people. 333.3 million people. That's a better statistic than, than the coof. You know, the... Uh, oh. Go get, go get the, the, the poke. And you're protecting that shit, which means that you're racist. Oh, uh, the, there's, there's a, there's a, um, looks like a Filipino student. Um, I, I, I know somebody who's, who I have a coworker that's Filipino, looks Filipino. This, this, uh, this gentleman right here, he comes up and defends them. Like, dude. I'm trying to defend you guys. Yeah, I he's know, recording. I know, but this offends us automatically because these people kill people like me and like us, right? You're not dead. So you're promoting our murderers. You're promoting our murderers? Unless you're a ghost, you're not dead. That's the stupidest thing you've said this whole video. So please just don't do that. Well, maybe not the stupidest. See? See? Look, he's defended them. They're just doing their schoolwork, and he's like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So why would that bother you? Because. Do you understand that? Police Lives Matter was in response to Black Lives Matter. Pay the same fucking tuition as you. Yep. Hold on. But yeah, that's but fine. And you have everywhere. I you have. I'm working study. 60 hours a week while going to school because my parents don't just give me money. But, it doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter. There's a longer video out there. Um, what did I do wrong? I'm going, to, I'm going to end it with this. Uh, I have made my point. I have contacted... Um, I have contacted Arizona State University uh, on Twitter. Yes, I did. I have no shame. I don't care. If you don't like it, you can kick rocks. Um, but the mainstream media is not going to show this to you. Or if they do, they're going to blow, blow it out of proportion. Like, uh, my white males were invading a multicultural uh, area, which is not true. Uh, Arizona State University official Twitter. Uh, I said... Uh, of course, this is the, you know, lives of TikTok. This is insanity is happening on college campuses. And I said, are you aware of this incident? I also contacted the Ace uh, Arizona State University president's office and said the same thing. Are you aware of this incident? I look forward. Arizona State University, I look forward to your reply. I mean this. I will not back down. I will make a video every single day about this incident I will send you a message every single day about this incident on Instagram, on Twitter, and I will I will ask you what are you doing about this? Racism is not tolerated, discrimination is not tolerated. That is not how we do this in the United States of America. I did not put a uniform on for this country to defend the constitution against this clownness because a couple of 19-year-old girls are 
you know, wanted to play a m activist and what was not labeled as a cultural center, which quite frankly, a cultural center is discriminatory, it's racist, and it's segregationist. Stop pandering to these students who scream at the top of their lungs. You're doing them no good. Life is harder than that. And these, these, these activists, guess what? Their activism degrees. She's getting a like a cultural degree in uh, climate change. I don't know what the hell cultural, you know, uh, cultural aspects have to do with climate change, um, especially when the United States is one of the leading front runners as an industrial nation on trying to, you know, uh, reverse our carbon imprint. But that's the way it is. Stop pandering to these kids and parents. Start blistering the butts of ki your kids that act out. They end up like this. They end up like this. I'm not saying beat your kids half to death. That's that's abuse. But you know what? Smack on the bottom is going to catch our attention when they're seven years old. And they're going to go, whoa, I shouldn't have did that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stop with the racism on everybody. There's one race, the human race. Come together. Love. Love for all. See you guys.